Hey guys, so I've been watching a lot of meme reaction videos and I even chanced across one where a real doctor was reviewing and reacting to medical memes. So I thought as a personal trainer, it might be fun to react to some of these fitness memes. I usually find them really funny, but it also gets me thinking whether, you know, people who don't work out or people who don't go to the gym, whether or not they would understand it. So maybe if you see a couple of these memes moving forward or certain jargons, then you would know what I'm talking about. Alright, the first one. When you think your trainer says lunchtime, but then you realize he or she said lunchtime. <laughs> I think this is so true, like especially during my personal training sessions with my clients. They all know that I love to start off my sessions with walking lunges and some form of lunch. It's quite cute, this boy is like hiding. Like, as if you all can get away. <laughs> okay, next one. No squatting in the texting rack. This is one of those memes that you probably would see at a commercial or public gym. There are some people who go to the gym and, you know, they decide to do like 10 sets of squats or something or whatever. Their rest time is so long. Like, they work out for maybe a minute and then they rest for like 5 minutes, sometimes even 10 minutes. And I've actually witnessed this before many, many times where people are just hogging a machine and they'll just text so much in between. So, you know, just a little PSA, if you are at a commercial or public gym and you're using machine, always just be aware of the people around you who are maybe waiting to perhaps share the machine with you um, and just to be considerate. And on that day, not a single link was trained. And then all these like beefy guys, oh my god, they all remind me of my ex-boyfriend. Ah, so bad, so bad. Ah. <laughs> it is kind of true that a lot of guys don't like to train legs. That's why there's this quite common saying, don't skip leg day. You guys might have seen it on social media. A lot of guys feel that there's like no point to legs. Like for girls, you know, you want to have nice legs to look good in like skinny jeans or like, you know, to tone up your, your the butt and stuff like that. So they do a lot of squats. But for guys, they just kind of don't see the point because they're just wearing pants anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Um, and the upper bodies, you know, you want to show it your macho and that you're like broad shouldered um, or whatever. So it is a like a funny common thing that guys don't train their legs. But I think it's really important. In fact, your legs is one of your biggest muscle groups in your body and are followed by your back. So training your legs definitely increases your caloric burn. It also increases the production of testosterone. So hint hint, like guys, definitely train your legs. But this photo just gives me the EBGBs. Like it totally reminds me of my ex-boyfriend who was a bodybuilder. Oh, it's just a very bad past, a very bad time in my life. Oh my god, this gives the EBGBs so bad. Whew. I really wanted to work out today, but my body said no. Oh, and it's just cute. Little Buddha, who's like in between the little rings. So cute. I think that everybody can relate to this meme. Um, you don't really need to um, like or dislike fitness to totally relate to this. Your spirit says yes. Your brain tells you it's good for you. But your body's just like, let me lie down, watch Netflix and zone out. And you know, this happens to me more often than you think. There are some days where I go to the gym and I know that I should work out. I've planned it in my schedule. I know it's good for me. But my body is just telling me like, oh, it's so torturous. And I, the last thing I want to do is like my workout. But I still have to psych myself and I just go through it. Once you do, you would feel very accomplished and you feel very fulfilled. Um, and like sometimes it's really mind over matter. <laughs> How was your workout, me? Everything hurts when I'm dying. <laughs> okay, I I totally see this. I mean, I think this would resonate a lot more with my clients because I'm a I'm the kind of person who go like, oh guys, so how's your workout? Did you enjoy it? And then they'll go like, yeah. <laughs> uh, how was it? Yeah, you okay? Good. <laughs> and yeah, at the end of every session, I think they are like dying inside, but they learn to match my energy with a smile. I like this and I think it's so cute, she's like, she's so smiling like ah, like it was so awesome I felt like budging you to the end like every time you said one set you can do it I wanted to throw the dumbbell at you and go shut the f*** <laughs> After an hour on the treadmill, one year is it? 
Okay, I feel like I can relate to this meme because I personally don't really like walking on the treadmill. I've grown to appreciate it a bit more over the years because of Netflix and you know, it, it can distract you. But if you're on the treadmill and you don't have any form of entertainment, it feels like an eternity. Some way to beat some treadmill fatigue now that we're on this topic is, um, you know, if you are set like 30 minutes on the treadmill, then perhaps take a towel and cover the timing so you don't fixate on the amount of time that you have left. Um, another way is to plan the videos or shows that you want to watch. I personally like to multitask. So even when I'm like lifting weights, I listen to podcasts, I play some videos, I don't watch it, but I listen to videos um, in the background. And that I find helps to distract me from the pain that I'm currently experiencing. How I look taking off a wet sports bra after a workout. I think we've all been there, girls, if you know what I mean. Like, after a sweaty workout, your bra is just like sticking to yourself and you're just like, oh, why do I even have to wear bras? Why can't I just like, you know, work out and like not have my boots flail everywhere and for me to be afraid of sagging tits when I grow older. I tell you all something, right? I don't actually even like take it off this way because like, I don't want to hit my nose. <laughs> It's quite sensitive. <laughs> like, I'm very conscious about touching my nose. So, right, how I personally take off my sports bra is to peel it off like one side at a time and then put both my arms through it and then um, take it off. Not like just peel it off at one go. I find that that makes it a lot easier, especially when my arms hurt after an upper body workout. Just nothing that makes me um, lift my arms up like like up high. Anything that just like I can keep my arms down and then like wiggle my way out of the sports bra. My face when a good song comes on during my workout. <laughs> I love Joey. He's probably my favourite uh, friend. Uh, him and Monica. That's totally me. Like when my favourite song in the gym comes on, I get so excited. I get very pumped. I think music is a huge um, motivator for me when it comes to working out. I feel that if I'm on my way to the gym and I realise I forgot to bring my headphones, I almost don't even want to do the workout. I mean, they do play music at the gym, but sometimes it's just not the vibe that you're feeling and you just want to be in the zone, have music that you know will you know get you in the mood and get you pumped to exercise. So I think that uh, when my favourite song comes on, yeah, I'm really feeling myself and then I just smile and it's always like a good workout for me. Other girls in the gym, me in the gym. <laughs> Oh, I can kind of understand this meme like you know like other girls in the gym being all fit and being all like they know um, you know they know what's up and I think not just girls like just other people who seem like they know what they're doing in the gym and then me in the gym just looking going like oh my god I look like an idiot don't feel intimidated remember that everybody starts somewhere and nobody is looking at you nobody is judging you um, unless you are like you know, taking very long at a certain machine and texting on your phone. Everybody understands that we all come from different fitness levels and we all have different goals. So, you know, whatever it is, you know, don't be afraid that other people are staring at you if that's something that you're intimidated by when you're going to the gym. The fact that you are even at the gym and you're there with the intention of bettering yourself is good enough. It's better than not doing it at all. So um, if you're that person at the gym right now, I want to commend you and tell you that everyone starts somewhere. You should be so proud of yourself for even stepping into the gym and you can only get better from here. Next meme. The face you make during the last 10 seconds of play. <laughs> So cute! Yeah, this is me. This is definitely me. Like, the face I make when I'm doing my plank and then suddenly <laughs> I'm silent and then there's like a loud scream like ah! <laughs> Also, I am very guilty of pushing my clients beyond their limits when I tell you to do um, like 30 seconds of planks and then I'm like, okay, let's just push it up to a minute because we know we can and then they go like and I get down on the phone and do it with them so they have no choice but to like do it with me. <laughs> and then after that, in the end, they're like, okay, fine. It hurt like hell. But thanks for, you know, letting me do a minute of planks that I didn't think I would be able to do if you weren't here otherwise. But like, I guess I can do it. I guess I'm stronger than I think I am. And I'm like, yeah, you are. Me training at home. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> 
Just a little pro tip as a personal trainer, I always like to start off my clients standing up because I just feel when you're standing up, you're a lot more energetic, a lot more active, there's more space for you to move rather than when you're lying on the floor where your energy is, in my opinion, slightly lower. And I don't know if you guys have noticed if you've been on my, you know, my No Sweat app or if you're one of my clients, you might or might not have noticed that this is just a pattern that I personally do when I do my programming. Name an excuse that people use to not work out. <laughs> So many. This is funny. This is like, I think it's Family Feud, if I'm not wrong, uh, the game. And they just have to like name everything within a category. Guys, I tell you, as a personal trainer, I've heard them all. Usually, I cannot wake up as an excuse. Um, and then they cancel last minute. People say like, sorry, they made my sports shoe. It's like, how? Oh no. Then what am I going to do? Then I go like, oh, you train without shoes. Like, you can. And then they go like, oh. Maybe hopefully, ho hoping that I say no. I think the no time thing is such a big excuse. You should be honest with yourself wherein it's not that you have no time, you just haven't wanted it enough to make it a priority for yourself because if you really wanted it to happen, you would go out of your way to make it happen even if it means waking up two hours earlier in the morning just to exercise. I think that in general, we all make excuses for why we do or don't do things but I think that you know, acknowledging that it's an excuse is the most important thing because uh, you know, if you really really want something to get done, then you would go out of your way to do it. My face when someone asks, what do you do for fun? Um, I don't know, squats? <laughs> I think to, I like this meme. I think this girl is very, very cute. I can relate to this because uh, for the longest time, my fun was re going to the gym. It was an escape for me. Um, I think all, almost all throughout my uni life, I pretty much gymmed. It was quite all-consuming. And looking back, I feel that there are a lot of things that I did which I probably didn't need to do. Like I feel that I was a bit too extreme sometimes, especially with my diet, with my regime. Um, I would work out like five or six times a week. I would eat very, very like overly healthy. Um, and I was just too particular and I was so like consumed by exercise when I was younger. But you know, I think after years of a lot of trial and error, I realized that it's best to just find a plan that is sustainable for you. And you should find fun in doing other things in life so you can have a more balanced lifestyle. You know, gym doesn't have to be an all-consuming thing. In fact, it's just one part of your lifestyle. So these are all the memes I have for you today. I found a lot of them to be absolutely hilarious. I think that there are all these stereotypes that exist within the fitness industry that you guys might or might not have heard of. And if you want to get started on your own fitness journey with me as your personal trainer, then go and download the No Sweat app. With the No Sweat app, you'll get personalized workouts that are tailored to your fitness goals. You'll get one-on-one -on -one fitness assessments from me and yes, I do personally respond to each and every single one of your assessments. So ask me all the questions you need. You'll also get access to our live stream chats and workouts and even exclusive invites to our meet and greet sessions. You'll get your first week for free the moment you download the app. And after which you have the option of signing up for a one-year, three-month or one-month plan. And if you sign up for the one-year plan, you also get a free set of no sweat resistance bands. These bands are just like the perfect workout companion for you to get some resistance into your home workouts. You can also get the bands on our no sweat store so head on over there to place your orders. The latest addition to our no sweat family is the dual massage ball. Now we all know that recovery is just as important as working out so if you have any kind of soreness or tensions in your body then these balls will do the trick. And as with all our other videos please remember to give this one a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and hit the little bell so you never miss a notification every time we post a new video or you can download the Click Network app to watch our videos there. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye!